In this lesson, we're going to cover how to create and place in a hole and a chamfer note. The file that I have open, again, is the whole table.idw, which can be found in your Chapter 5 Exercise folder. First of all, what I'm going to do is change over to the Annotation panel. And in this first quadrant of tools, the one we're looking for is Hole slash Thread Notes. So I'm going to zoom in tight into our top view here. And what I'm going to do is just select on one of the holes. And you'll notice by default it's popping back up and it's telling me that it's uh, 10 millimeter in diameter. But you'll notice that I have four holes that look very similar. In this case, they are the exact same size. So what I'd like to do is actually pull some information for the quantity. What I'm going to do is move my cursor over that specific uh, note, right click, and then click on Edit Hole Note. Now, in this dialog box, this is where we can go back and you can customize exactly how you want your note to appear with all your different symbols that you can build up. And the one in this case that I'm looking for is going to be the quantity note. So I'm just going to go in this point and just go ahead and click OK. And you'll notice now it is saying that it's at 4. And let's go back and do the exact same thing for our threads. In this case, I have four identical tapped holes. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to edit that whole note just like we did before. And let's go ahead and put in the quantity note. In this case, however, you're noticing that it only says two, even though I do have four holes here. Let's take a look at that again. I'm going to right click, edit that whole note. On the right hand side, we have some information. I can also go back and display some information about the tap drill. But if I scroll on down here, I can see where I have the edit quantity note. If I go ahead and click on that, we can see exactly why I'm only seeing two of those. So in this case, this hole was patterned vertically here. So I'm going to change it to the number of like holes in the view. Go ahead and click OK. And let's go back and change that. I kind of forgot to place in the whole note. So now I have four of those type of holes placed correctly in the view. So instead of having to every single time go back and edit that note, you can make this change at the style level. If I wanted to have the quantity note, go under the format pull down and click under style and standard editor. And then in the dialog box, I'm going to expand the dimensions section. In this case, I'm working on the default millimeter. And then on the right hand side, the notes and leaders tab. And this is where I can go back and make that adjustment. In this case, I'm going to go back and add the quantity note. And you see from our drop down list, it lists all the different hole types and the list is fairly long. So you may need to go back and do some modifications on that. Or we can also click on the apply to all where it will go back and apply to all the different holes, hole types. Let's go ahead and click save. And you'll also notice as long as I'm here that this is where you can go back and change the chamfer note. And later on we'll get to the sheet metal section, the bend note settings as well. So let's go ahead and click done. And let's place in one more thread note. In this case we'll select one of these holes. And you notice by default it is placing in my six times diameter for uh, six times the number of holes for the three, the three millimeter in diameter. The last thing that I want to place in this is going to be a chamfer note. If I go ahead and click on the chamfer note, let's zoom up, I can go back and select on the chamfered edge. And then I'm going to select on another edge that the angle is going to be based from. And we'll pull some information about that chamfer. One last thing about the hole and the thread notes. So in this case, I just had holes placed in this drawing, but if I placed in any threads, we could pull off the exact same annotation off that thread. 